Checking out the differences between the Galaxy Safari guitar and the Orbital. You can see they're similar looking guitars, but the body shapes are different and the hardware is different. This one's a little more chunky and bigger. This one's a little more sleek, right? This is the original design here. And this is a new design here. This is supposed to be kind of like a Squire Epiphone version of this guitar. And uh, I'll show you the differences. Uh, basically, these uh, galaxies are made in a Chinese factory, which uh, is a great factory. They really nail the details. I mean, just like the gloss finish on the neck and the uh, the curve, and the it's like a very graceful carve, and the the attention to detail is great. I mean, just like you look down on the neck and you just you feel and you look at a really nicely made in instrument and uh you know the bodies are also sleek and shiny um and then of course i level all the frets which is a lot of hand work i go through and dress each one so the shiny again and smooth all the pick guards are handmade all the uh, switches are installed by me all wired in cts pots are wired in switch switchcraft jack and then uh, the pickups are Depinto pickups, and they're the same, but on this guitar, they're hum canceling in certain positions. So here's a bridge pickup here, which is, has some 60 cycle hum, which you can hear it, right? But if you uh, put another pickup on, like the one next to it, you lose that hum, which is a nice touch, right? Turn those two off, put the neck pickup on, a little bit of buzz, the one next to that goes away, put the bridge on, goes away. So here's your sound. That's like your telly setting right there, right? Uh, with just one pickup on, a little bit of buzz, but a good sound. So that's a Galaxy, and that sells for $8.95 with the dot inlay and a gig bag. Now let's go to a, an Orbital, and uh, also the headstocks on these are smaller too. They don't have that big, super big headstock. Um, right off the bat, okay, so there's buzzing, of course, on the pickups. But right off the bat, you notice um, that the finish on the neck is... Um, it's different it's satin and it's almost like a sanding sealer or something it's not even like a satin finish so it has um, definitely has a cheaper feel uh, it's almost like bare wood I don't know that wouldn't bother me too much I would just go on stage and play this personally but just so you know you're not feeling that high-end feel or even that high-end look that gloss so you know you get a discount there because of that uh, the switches, of course, are just push buttons here, right? And they're latched. They are not momentary. That would be a, that would be a horrible trick on you to make you hold these down while you try and strum at the same time. <laughs> no, these are latched. Okay, and then um, all the pickups are wound the same, so there's no quiet settings. But you know, still you can get some good sounds. Let's just use one pickup. Here's the neck pickup. Galaxy sound. Let's try 
my bridge and neck together. Now, see, it's still buzzing even when I put two on. But that's like the old 50s and 60s strats. They still buzzed even when you were able to get two pickups on. You weren't supposed to be able to, but you could, and then you'd still get the buzzing. Even up until the 70s, that happened. There's two pickups. Try three pickups. is not seated properly. I'll take it out and I'll put the spring in the right place. It'll work so. Not bad. So I still had to do that Eddie Van Halen thing. Uh, pull on the G string after you uh, hit the tremolo. It's in tune now. G string went sharp. Pull on it. But part of keeping a guitar in tune is just knowing how to do it, too. Not always the tremolo being perfect. Uh, what else? Uh, little weird things about these guitars. I think like these screws are so close to the edge of the pick card that changes the look, right? Look at this one right there. Right to the edge. Kind of interesting, isn't it? I wouldn't have done it that way, but it gives it its own vibe, and it is an inexpensive guitar. $3.99 for these. Finishes are fabulous, and uh, they're fun. This one weighs about 8.6 pounds. That other one weighed about 7.9, and um, oh yeah, tuners are a little cheaper, but they still work. Now, on the other ones, the ones that go for $8.95, the Galaxies, if there's a weird you know, tuner that's acting weird, I'll go and I'll change it. If you got a weird act, uh, you know, like one that's a little tighter than the others, well, that's just what you get on a, an expensive guitar. It's not like it doesn't work, it's just not butter, basically. And that's, I'm shooting for butter on the Galaxy, and these I'm shooting for, plug that thing in and go, and don't complain. Make some rock and roll. So there are the two guitars, two different price ranges. Oh, also the Galaxy comes with a gig bag, Gig bag is extra on this. <laughs>